Uh, this is Tim on board the International Space Station. I can hear you loud and clear. Can you hear me? Three days in space and Britain's first astronaut aboard the International Space Station is doing just fine. Today, in his first public appearance since he arrived on board, Major Tim Peake took the questions in his stride. You've trained for years to get up on board the space station, but can you tell me what's been the most surprising, the most unexpected thing when you actually got there? That's a great question. The most unexpected thing, I think, was um, the blackness of space because we always talk about seeing the view of planet Earth and how beautiful it is and so you you come to expect that but what people don't mention that much is just when you look the opposite direction uh, and you see how dark space is I mean it's the blackest black and you realize just how small the Earth is. After the flawless launch from Baikonur things didn't go so easily for Major Tim. Well, the first 24 hours is pretty rough. Every time you turn a corner or move your head, looking up and down, left and right, your ears, your vestibular system is sending signals to the brain um, that don't, doesn't really match your eyes. But I've been amazed at how quickly the body has adapted. On my second morning, I woke up feeling fresh, ready to go to work. To get familiar with his new home in space, Major Tim trained for several weeks here in life-size mock-ups of the space station. This is the Columbus module where Major Tim will spend most of his time working on scientific experiments. And through here is where he'll live. The astronauts' quarters are very cramped. Each one only gets a very small amount of space to call their own. And because of the risk of floating away at night, each one will have to sleep strapped to the wall. Major Tim got used to working and simulating emergencies in this facility. During missions, flight engineers here work around the clock to keep the astronauts happy, informed and healthy in space. Major Tim's schedule has been kept easy for his first few days, which has given him time to adjust his senses to his new environment. I've got a question from an ITV News viewer. They want to know, what does it smell like on the International Space Station? I can only say it's certainly not unpleasant, that's, that's one thing, and it's kind of a metallic smell, um, almost, almost chemically, but not strong in any way. Six years of training have brought Major Peak here. His work can now begin. Alok Jha, News at 10, Cologne.